Uh, Reese said, uh, obviously, disappointment the other night. Manager described it as uh, the worst performance since he's been in charge. So, as players, obviously, you're looking to put it right, but how do you do it? Yeah, definitely. Um, it was a it was a poor performance. Um, we all know that. Um, thankfully, there's not been many like that this season. Mm. Um, so, hopefully, we can put that behind us. And the way you do that is by working hard on the training pitch, um, getting together. Um, we stick together as a team. Um, and we, uh, you have to look forward. Um, it's important that you you learn from the mistakes that were made, or the mishaps, or whatever it was that we need to take from the game. Um, but it's important to look forward and, and be positive for the, for the next for the next game on Saturday now. Yeah, as you say, it's you know from the season you've had, there's not been many spells like this. So it's, I suppose in a common season, it's pretty obvious that you are going to come up against a, a poor patch, isn't it, at some point or another? So I guess you could say it was going to happen at some point and therefore it's just about moving on from it yeah definitely I mean we'd much prefer to not have a blip um, that goes without saying but I mean on the flip side I think when we when we won I think was it seven on the bounce eight on the bounce maybe we weren't sitting there saying oh well that's the league one we, 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 we're here we've won um, so it's important to to keep our feet on the ground not get carried away whether you're winning or losing um, and <laughs> it is a cliche but you take the next game as it comes mm. It, it, it's, it's a new challenge, um, a new team. Yes, we're not on the greatest of forms, but it only takes one good result to then flip your flip your luck around and, and you can go back on a run again. So mm-hmm. it's important to look forward, be positive, learn from your mistakes and con- continue to keep working hard. Yeah. Do you have a look at what's happening in the, with the teams around you and the table above you and so on? Do you pay attention to what they're doing or is your focus purely on you? Or? Yeah, I mean... you. you you do have a you do have an eye on the league and whatnot, but there's still a lot of football to be played. So you're not focused on that. Um, we we have to worry about ourselves. Um, it, it it doesn't really matter what others are doing. Um, so if if you're if you're losing games, you're not going to go anywhere on the table but down. Um, if you're winning games, then you've got a chance of moving up the league. Um, the games come thick and fast. There's still plenty of football to to be played. And um, I think at the start of the season, if you'd have said, look, you're going to be up in the playoffs fighting to get promoted would you want that you'd say yes and and here we are we still got a chance of getting promoted and that's the aim so mm. we go again saturday with the with the intention of winning the game and and getting three points on the board just like any other week yeah I mean, last time we spoke to you you were scoring for fun goals i suppose have dried up it's only four games which isn't that long a, a streak without scoring is it but i mean from your point of view you're just keen to get back on the score sheet yeah absolutely um it's my job to score goals, and by scoring goals, you help the team win the game. So, I want to be doing my job. Um, there's other ways that you contribute to the team. Um, so, you have to you have, you have to make sure you're doing the other uh, other parts of, of of the work that's needed. Um, but yeah, I'm here to score the goals, and, and that's what I want to do. Uh, but m- most importantly, I want three points on Saturday, whether that's me scoring a hat trick or a ball going in off of the backside of. Carl Dickinson, I, I don't care. I want to. I want to win. <laughs> yeah, and, that, and that's the thing, really, isn't it? I mean, you take that as well. If if a, if it come off your backside into the net, they, they all count for the same, don't yeah, they? Yeah, I'd take thirty of them. Um, <laughs> like like you said, it doesn't matter how it how it goes in, as long as it goes in and we get over the line with the three points. That's 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 the aim for Saturday. It is every time we go out on the, out on the pitch, we want to win. Yeah, yeah. Chesterfield are, are next up, and it's a twenty past five kick off. So does that change your day in any way? I mean, it's a couple of hours later kicking off. Does that change anything? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a couple of hours later. It, it doesn't change too much. You, you, the only thing it does change really is your when you eat. Um, other than that, it's business as usual. Um, like you said, the performance was not good on Tuesday, and we had a lot of fans. A lot of fans come and watch us on Tuesday, which we let down. Um, so we're we're keen to put put uh, a good performance on on Saturday um, but more importantly like I said stressed we want to get a win um, if that comes in an ugly performance and so be it but we definitely feel like uh, the we owe the fans a, a good performance um, three points on, on Saturday yeah so nice to be at Hewish Park yeah definitely um, it, it's great playing out there especially when the, uh, the, the the fans get behind us which they've been absolutely fantastic with us this season um, we, we, we can't uh, we can't thank them enough for that um, the, the, the support they showed on Tuesday, travelling with the weather and uh, and everything going on, it must have been a nightmare. Mm. I, 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 I hate to think what time they all got home. So um, yeah, we 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 we're definitely aware that the performance wasn't good enough um, Tuesday. But like I said, we look forward now and hopefully we uh, come <coughs> Saturday evening. Everyone will be talking about a good good performance and, and three points and 
everything changes then. Yeah, and just finally a word on Chesterfield. What sort of a game are you expecting from them at the weekend? The same as, as every game in this league is going to be a battle for 90 plus minutes. Um, they're not going to come here and lay down for us. Um, I think they've, they've turned, a, turned a bit of form around themselves mm. lately, so it's going to be another hard, hard game that we need to make sure we're at 110% to, uh, to try and get anything out of it. Yeah, so they're better than the league position would suggest, you think? Yeah, I mean, everyone's where they are for a reason. Uh, I mean, like I said, they've, I think they've turned, turned their form around a bit recently. I know they, were, they weren't getting many results mm. earlier on in the season, but they are where they are. They'll be looking to change that. Um, and it's up to us to make sure that on Saturday they don't get any change out of us. Mm. Good luck, Chris. Thank Cheers, you. thank you. So the ideal scenario would be a goal after about five minutes from your good self and then kick on from there. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd never turn down a goal. So, uh, <laughs> no, but I mean, from the point of view of confidence and, you know, just turning the, the run yeah, around, I mean, an early goal always must help. Yeah, an early goal for the team, whether it's myself or, or someone else, then, then yeah... Um, it's always nice to get off to a good start. Um, we've 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 had it several times this year where we scored early, and it usually ends up in a in a good team performance and a, and a, and a win. More mm. importantly, um, so yeah, it does always help. But if 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 we don't score after five minutes, it's, it, it, it's not a it's not a case of um, panic anything like that. We need to continue what we have been doing all season. That's got us in this position. Um, although results haven't been great the last few, that doesn't mean that what we're doing now all of a sudden is wrong. Um, we must keep believing in what we're doing. Um, we've worked hard all season, continue to do so and keep believing in what we're doing. And that little bit of luck, like I say, maybe it's a, a nice lucky goal after a couple of minutes, help bed everyone in and, and the fortunes will change again. Well, clearly you'll have to get Carl Dickinson up close then so that that, that scenario <laughs> comes to fail. But um, uh, you're still fourth though. In exactly. the league, and yeah. like you know, there seems to be sort of few people getting panicky about it, but you're still fourth, and yeah. there's plenty, as you say, there's plenty of football left to play yet, isn't there? Yeah, exactly that. I mean, like I said, if if in, if you had said at the start of the season, what, what what's the aim? The aim is to get promoted. Um, do we have a chance of getting promoted? Yes. So we're exactly yeah. where we need to be. Um, also, like I said earlier, I mean, when when you win seven on the bounce, you don't get ahead of yourselves. You don't start thinking that oh, that's the league wrapped up. No. Nope you then take the next game as it comes. It's the same now. Um, so there's no need to panic, like you say. Um, everyone keep their feet on the floor, keep their, their minds clear, keep working as usual, keep doing the same things, learn from the mistakes that we've made in the recent games, and then it can only make us better and stronger. And let's face it, you're only human. I mean, you know, to, to expect people to go out there every single week and be 150% on the ball, it's, it's difficult, isn't it? I mean, it's not an easy job. You know, I think people think that you just roll up and you go out there and it all just happens, but it yeah. doesn't, does it? I mean, it, like you say, it is your job, it's what you're paid to do to perform. Um, but at the same time, like you say, it's a, it's a long season, you're playing 45, 46, 50 games. Um, so to think that you're going to get it perfect every time you step out on the pitch is probably a, a little naive. Hmm. But we don't think that, but there's a, there's a requirement here, a minimum requirement that you work hard, you're representing Yeovil Football, uh, Yeovil Town Football Club, um, it's a big club and there's a, a certain level that must be met. Whether you're playing well or not, you work hard for yourself, for your teammates, for the staff, for the for the fans. And then I think if uh, if sometimes you come off the pitch and you've lost, people can say, that, so be it, you've lost the game but you've given everything, um, they can accept that. Um, maybe we let ourselves down a little bit on Tuesday um, with the performance. Um, in the second half, I thought the first half we actually performed all right, and we were in the game. Um, but like I say, there's 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 a minimum requirement, and you have to make sure that you're 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 meeting that requirement every every time you step out on the pitch. Like you say, you might not perform to your your absolute maximum, but your effort, your your endeavour, that that has to be there. But presumably, you know, a, a long trip to Harrogate, cold February night, awful conditions. It's hardly going to be generating a sort of, wow, it's good to be here sort of scenario, is it really? Um, I mean, it's easy to sit here now and say there was factors out of our control that, that didn't help us win the game, but it would it would just come across as an excuse. So we're not looking for excuses. We take full responsibility as the players. We were out on the pitch, we were given a job to do and we didn't do it. Um, that's the be-all and end-all. Um, we understand it was a bad result. Like I said, we've let the fans down, perhaps that have travelled that far, but it's not gonna, mm. it's not gonna end our season there. So we refresh, we reset, 
there was a good atmosphere in training today, we we're all ready to push on, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, all I can say is good luck Saturday. Just make sure Carl Dickers is in the right place at the right time. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> and uh, everything will be absolutely wonderful. Yeah, so good luck for Saturday. If he's on a goal bonus, I'll have to take it off of him, I yeah, think, after well, that. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're looking forward to Saturday. And like you say, there's no better chance than to come and play at home in front of your own fans to, to mm. turn things around again. So we're looking forward to it. Good luck, Reese. Cheers, thank you very much.